By now, a lot of players will be pretty skilled up in the art of sniping within Ghost Recon Wildlands, and I know there has been a lot of sniper guides already made, but the game is still relatively new, and newcomers will be piling in for a while yet. So I thought I would go ahead and make one, just to see if maybe I could put a different spin on things, cover certain aspects from a different angle, inject maybe a little bit of my military background, and if I can help anyone out at all, then I'll be happy. So sniping in this game is pretty simple, right? You look down your sights, you aim, and you pull the trigger. That's basically the principles of it. How we get better at sniping, or how you become a better sniper, uh, depends on other aspects. The first major aspect I'd like to cover is bullet drop, and why it shouldn't be made to be too confusing. Just to think of it in a different way, is to just know the scope that you are using. As long as you know your scope, then that's all you need to know. The only time then, you'd have to take into consideration bullet drop, is if an enemy is significantly higher or lower than you. So the rifle I use is the L115A3 with the T5XI tactical scope. And this is the combo that I use 99% of the time because it's what I feel most comfortable with. So if we take a quick look through the scope, I know that the weapon is zeroed in up to and including 100 meters at the center of the reticle. The bottom of the red cross is 150 meters. The first part of this black section here is 200. Then we have 250 and then 500 meters. Once you know these distance markers, distance sniping becomes a lot easier than not knowing them and trying to think about bullet drop. So if we have a look at a few examples of how to use these markers, the first one is pretty straightforward as it's only at 100 meters. So we just aim dead center of the reticle. The next one is at 250 meters. So we just use the 250 meter marker and it's a hit. And then we have an enemy at 500 meters. So same principle, 500 meter marker on the scope. Now I know what you're thinking. Not all enemies are gonna be at these specific distances. But once you know these markers and the distances, it's easier to work out on the fly exactly where you have to aim by just looking at your major distance markers and adjusting from there. Now this is all good to know for precision shots for when you're going for headshots or if the enemies may have half their body behind cover, for example. If you can see the enemy's whole body, and the distance is sort of between 100 and 500 meters, then it becomes even easier again. As long as you sort of don't fire too high, then you'll be fine. So if we take a look here, so I've got an enemy at 369 meters, and I can see his whole body. So I put him between my 250 and 500 meter markers, knowing that he's somewhere halfway in between that, take a shot and we get a hit nice and easy so that's it for this video guys well for part one of this sniper guide anyway i am in the process of making uh, the other parts for it so i shall upload those as soon as possible anyway guys thanks for watching hope some of you anyway found it helpful and as always any thoughts drop a comment down below drop a like if you're feeling nice and i'll catch you next time